Okay, let's uh, take a look at this. Now, first off, um, being, I need to be in radians. So I press my mode and um, come down to where it says radians and degrees and make sure radians is selected. And how you select it, if it's not selected, is you put your flashing cursor on it and you press enter one time. Okay, then I'm going to exit out. Now I'll go to Y equals. And I'm going to shop my plot one, that's from statistics. And I want to put this in. Put in parentheses around the top part. So do beginning parentheses, cosine 2x, closing parentheses on 2x minus cosine of x, closing parentheses on x, closing parentheses on the numerator, divided by x squared. Now I want to go to my table setup. So I'll do second window. And where it says independent, you want that to say ask. So you down arrow to that line and right arrow and do enter on ask. Now I want to go to my table. So I do second graph. And it's waiting for us to input values. So for example, uh, point 0.1. And if I put in point 0.1 and push enter, then I come over here and I can right arrow over. And that gives us our negative 1.493759, uh, I guess, rounded. Now, point 0.01. If I um, come down to my second line and I put in point 0.01 and do enter, then you get your, looks like negative 1.5, but if I come up, and do an up arrow and do a right arrow, you can see it gives you more values. And that's how you can build that. Now what you're seeing is as this gets closer and closer to zero, you're seeing that it's approaching negative 1.5, and that's why your answer is that way.